A lot of people get frightened by contemporary dance because they don't know how to look at it, I guess. And so I think it might be helpful to know that like I'm still thinking about how to look at it and that's like part of this project and what you bring to um, the work by viewing it is all valid. I'm Rachel Sigrid Freeberg and this is I'm in my third year of my MFA. Um, what got you started in dance? Um, I started when I was really little taking ballet and I just tell people I never had the courage to quit. So that's what brought me all the way this far. Um, I started with ballet and quickly around high school I found modern dance and um, my passion sort of shifted to that direction. Aesthetically, like this dance looks very different than a ballet, but there are like some elements that I still keep. Like there's things like a traditional canon where like one person goes and the next and the next and the next. Like there's some traditional forms, but um, we kind of mess it up a lot. Moving with the skin, moving with muscles, thinking more about the bones, and um, also thinking about the aesthetics of those things, like sometimes like really trying to shake the flesh and the muscle off the bone or like harden it. Sally came into the picture because I was thinking about the, like this bodiliness of dance and like the nature of live performance and something about um, Sally and also the violin and the texture of the violin felt similar to like textures of bodies and then um, also this wrapped up in this work as a certain sort of body positivity, body politic and so it, we felt like very... Um, just on the same wavelength on those things. I think I've, well, being in dance for so long and thinking about my own relationship to my body and in watching other dancers, I kind of started to think that a lot of dance um, makes bodies seem like they disappear into a design or like a greater concept. But as dancers, like we're so interested in bodies and how they work, and we think about them so much, and that's what I like about dance. And so I really just wanted to make a dance that made the audience really think about the fact that they're watching real live bodies. Um, I keep on using the word like a fleshy dance or like a more bodily dance. I really like it being in the space, there's something about like a theater and a fourth wall that I think would have made um, this project sort of difficult to do. The nature of how we look at art that just gets pulled in by having it in the space. So like how we look at sculpture or paintings and then how you look at dance, I feel like just you automatically compare those with having the dance in the space. I was also thinking a lot about art concepts like naked and nude in the beginning stages of this process so it felt right to like conjure those ideas up of looking at bodies the way that we often do in classical art. I think the whole process is a lot of learning and unlearning and People should feel like they can dance, start dance whenever. Like I started when I was little, but I think I don't know. I, everybody's got a body, so everybody can dance. <laughs>